I got my own mechanics here. Mm-hmm. I pop a tire somewhere else down the road. It's going to cost me five or 600 bucks. I got a guy right up the street here. I can get a virgin tire for $200. I done had trucks with trans where the clutches went out down in like Alabama. I just got to go to the dealership. Dealership's going to charge you twenty two, twenty five, three thousand dollars to fix it. Yeah. For a twelve a twelve hundred dollar job here. Well well that's yeah. it. That that's the value of like of the relationships you build when you are home, right? And the thing is there are tangible values to being where you are. And that's like all added up, it's the thing where cross country freight is just it's less lucrative than it looks. And you really have to know what you're getting into. And it makes it to where you really have to be careful about what prices you're negotiating, right? Because it might seem right. like a really good deal at first until you think about, hey, I got these expenses here. Um, my quality of life is going to be worse for the next two weeks. Um, and then what happens if I have like a, what it happens if, like you said, like an accident happens or if a tire pumps? And what happens if I'm late on a shipment because of that? Um, to who pays for that detention time? Right. And all that stuff you got to start thinking about ahead of time before you go take that load. Right. Yeah. I had, I, from previous experience, uh, I've, I was running, uh, with a direct shipper out of a cold storage place here over to uh, South Carolina and Walmart load. And we missed the appointment mm -hmm. frozen load. The reefer had to run at negative, at, yeah, negative five degrees in the middle of July in Charlotte, North Carolina for three days. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's cost. That's cost. You just eat that cost all of a sudden. Like, all of a sudden, like, you're well-paying. All of a sudden, you're like, you're like a magic bullet is, 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 is a curse now all of a sudden because, um, be, because the costs just don't line up and you, you, you weren't expecting that and it wasn't covered. And the thing is, there's no way around it because the shipper's not going to help you out. He had an appointment yep. set and he's like, Hey, come like, I'm going to set another time for you tomorrow. And you are going to have to keep everything refrigerated until then, or else you're, aren't, you aren't getting any money for this load. Right. Yep. Yeah. And now you got a cargo client. If you know, if the reefer goes down and you know, it's just, it's like a domino effect. You know, you spread yourself so thin, then you know, you, you're pushing yourself closer to the ledge. I'll put it that way. <laughs> exactly. And that, that's why reefer, that's why reefer is like, just, just like a that's why reefer is just a bit riskier in general and the thing is that's where like like i hate to plug myself but the thing is that's where that's where the visibility comes in really like it's it's when you really need to get to that destination within that window and you really mm -hmm. need to be precise with that window right yeah and you never know what might happen you know hey who, who could predict that you go down the road you catch a flat and it takes them six hours to come and fix the flat then that means you're going to be late delivering it all you know, yeah. nine times out of ten, if you didn't leave yourself that much of a cushion, and honestly, sometimes a lot of people don't leave their, their self that big of a cushion. You know, even with the ELDs that have made it actually tighter to make some of the uh, appointment times. Mm -hmm. Like that's you the know? thing, and then it's all about people's uh, conception of risk, right? Because because the thing is, it's a thing where people uh, I forgot the psychology numbers, but I don't like don't quote me on this, but. Um, I think it's something like you're two times more likely to anticipate a good event happening than a bad event happening, even if it's 50, 50, right? Cause people right. are naturally optimistic and you naturally think of the good things, right? Right.